thank you so much for agreeing to do this. <laughs> it's a pleasure. So to start off, what age were you and what made you want to start dancing? I started dancing as soon as I could walk, but before I would always be at my mum's classes, sitting in my baby chair, dancing away. But <laughs> I think I started because my mum was a dancer and my sister was a dancer. So it's kind of a family thing. Mm. Yeah. Um, Been involved. Yeah. <laughs> um, your mum's obviously your teacher. How do you, how do you get on? Do you enjoy having her as your teacher? Yeah, I think it has its pros and cons. Like, I think it's really good because she can like talk with me about my corrections at any time. But the dance class finishes and my dance class finish start like lasts the whole current car journey home. So yeah. But, but I'm so thankful to have Rosalind and my mum. Yeah. Like, That's really good. Um so you started competitions quite early. I remember you like tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what was your first competitive memory? Oh, uh, I think it was it was at a little local games and I was doing my 16 paddy bars and this boss came in front of me and all while I was doing my 16 paddy bars I kept going like this. <laughs> the judge must have been thinking, what is she doing? It was so funny. Oh was... um so as a younger dancer, um who did you who were your inspirations? Who were your idols looking up? Um, well, I think I really look up to all the older girls at championships, but I could be like here all day listing all the girls I looked up to, but I just really aspire to how maturely they dance. Mm -hmm. But when I was little, I was the biggest fan of Abby McNeil ever. I just remember her winning worlds and me being like, can I please get a picture in her saying yes, I was so starstruck. But I've also been around Rebecca Thau my whole life, so she's been a really big inspiration to me as well. But like having workshops with Marielle, Morgan Bamford, Claire McLaughlin, Alice Hayes, it really like inspired me to work hard and like perform the best I can. So yeah. it's good. Oh, that's lovely. Um, do you recall your first championship? Yeah, I actually do. It was the Inverness Championships in the summer. And I was doing my pre's that day too. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of floating between the two championships and um, I don't think my mum told me I was doing a championship, so I had not really a clue what was going on, but I just remember being like, whoa, this is cool. <laughs> it was a good day. Yeah, were you nervous at all? Um, I don't think so. I kind of just thought it was like a normal competition, but I just kind of danced. Yeah. Probably did really badly, but... <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that. Um... <laughs> Have you developed any competition rituals or superstitions over dancing so many championships? Yeah, I'm quite like that. So in my dancing case, I have a little bag and it's packed full, like the zippers bursting and everything. And it's got like lucky charms and like memories from like competitions I've been to. Mm -hmm. um, I also always have to put my dancing socks on before I get to the competition. <laughs> <laughs> I have a handshake with my family. <laughs> and then last summer at the Commonwealth Championships, me and Barrett kind of made a superstition between the two of us mm -hmm. that I've always got to touch her USA jacket and we both got to eat trail mix. It's the weirdest thing ever, but it works. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally understand you. <laughs> crazy ones as well. Um, as a younger dancer, um, what was your biggest aspiration? What was your goal as a young dancer? I think winning my first Cowell medal really aspired me to want to qualify and work my way up that line, but also to like try and inspire like younger dancers, like other dancers have in had had an in influence on me. So it's been really good. Yeah. Um. So obviously, <clears throat> at Cowell, you've had like some good history at Cowell. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think from very young age you've been featuring in that top six lineup and then of course last year won the world title how did that feel yeah. oh, wow like it was the most surreal feeling ever I literally do anything to relive that day mm -hmm. it was so like good to be able to like take that goal of mine off and like to know I had so many nice supporters behind me it was just like so nice and yeah. everyone like all the whole dancing community were like so like welcome and like nice yeah like about after you'd finished dancing that day did you have an inkling that you'd 
maybe one or was it just totally not even in the back of your mind? No, it wasn't even in the back of my mind. I just kind of, it was like, it just the like, out the blue. Yeah. Because I just remember being backstage and they're like, you know how they call that like the top six? And I like them saying my name. I was like, whoa! <laughs> but it's good. So kind of stepping away from competitions. Um, yeah. Favourite non-competitive memory brought for Highland dancing? Um, I've got a few, but um, I think the Flings and Things workshops, they were really good, especially the choreography, because they allowed me to be sassy. <laughs> um, I really liked Across the Board. I felt so like lucky to be a part of that. Obviously, we were in it together, and it was so good. Like The choreography, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, also, after I won Worlds, my dance school held me a surprise party. I was doing my 16 high cuts and they all like walked in. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I didn't have to finish my 16 high cuts. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Um, so you've traveled quite a lot. Like I've been, yeah. you've been also. Um, what is your favorite competition that you've traveled to out of Scotland? Um, well, I've been incredibly lucky to be able to go to various Scott Dance Canada's and USIRs. So I think it's quite hard to pick which one I really like the most because each trip had something special about it in its own way. I just think the best bit about them is being able to make so many friends and like memories that will last a lifetime. So it's like really good. Because like I have best friends from Canada now in America, it's crazy. Yeah, it's hard to get in contact with them sometimes with the time difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, for our competitions, like, I have embarrassing memories, everyone has embarrassing memories. Yeah. Like, what is your funniest or most embarrassing memory at a competition? I have, like, one of each. So, my funniest was when I was at Cowell, I was eight at the time. I'd won a trophy, but it was back when you had to wait for the afternoon to get your award so knowing me I was away playing in the bouncy castle rolling up and down the hill and like came to the afternoon and I had to get my award and we had no time to sort my hair out so I had to go up on stage and get my cowl trophy with all these flyaways it, was, <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time but oh and my most embarrassing moment was at four for championships and I was so mesmerized by this judge's shoes and I started to dance my back steps forward instead of backwards <laughs> and it was on the stage like not down on the floor it was on the stage in front of everyone I just remember being like oh what have I done <laughs> finally just to kind of finish up um obviously yeah. I'm Cowell's now so we don't really know when the first championship is going to be um, yeah. What are you doing to keep yourself motivated and um, like fit during lockdown? Um, I'm doing Zoom classes with my teachers and I'm like doing various Highland workouts that are available. But I'm also doing a lot of the challenges that are available like right now. And I think they're really key to keeping our dancing community connected. Because so, it's so nice being able to watch the dancers who I'd see every week. Yeah. And I'm not seeing them now, like it's so strange, but it's nice to see them on social media. Yeah. And um, are you practicing every day or do you? Um, I think I do my normal dance classes on the normal days and then on the rest of the days, I'll just like complete a workout, mm -hmm. like a Highland workout or do exercises to like benefit my Highland. Yeah. Just trying to keep up, but. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know when you're done. Yeah. Dancing, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on. I know a lot of listeners are going to really love this because we're all asking for you. So thank you. Um, personally for me, thank you so much for coming on, Rose, Rosie. I, I kind of look up to you because you're just such a humble and sweet. Oh, thank you. You never know that you've won like, a world title. Thank you very much. It means a lot. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.